Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update August 20th, 2019 edition. In this edition, happiness will knock on your door again and a word on Ashes of Love Season 2. But first, Flying Phoenix is a rumored upcoming costume drama and they held their booting ceremony a couple of days ago. So the reason I'm updating on this rather low-key and unknown drama is that there are weird circumstances surrounding it. Like, if they've already held their booting ceremony, how is it still rumored and not already confirmed? More on that a little later. On Douban, it says the drama stars Dai Jingyao and Su Yaxing, but other websites list the main cast as Dai Jingyao and Francis Huang. The drama is based on a novel of the same name and tells the story of a crown prince and his region and how they unify the 12 states and maintain peace in the kingdom. In the novel, the crown prince and his regent, also a man, have a romantic relationship. But of course, that's not gonna fly with the censorship board. So in the drama, they're gonna alter that into a brotherhood, just like they did in The Untamed. And that's sort of the big talking point about this drama. People are wondering if it's gonna be the next big bromance hit. Last year's Guardian starring Zhu Yilong and Bai Yu, and this year's The Untamed with Xiao Zhan and Wang Yibo were both adapted from boys' love or gay novels, and they both changed the lead actor's relationships into a brotherhood instead. And from the evidence of their popularity, it worked. The funny thing is, many fans of the Untamed novel raved about how faithful the drama stayed to the source material. But I'd say that changing the main relationship from gay to brotherhood is a pretty big deviation from the novel, wouldn't you say? I guess they mean in terms of classic scenes and dialogue, but still. Anyways, back to Flying Phoenix. How is it still rumored and not already confirmed? First of all, there's little to no information about it out there. The only thing I could dig out was the bare bones Douban listing of it and their Weibo page which has only one post, the one about their booting ceremony, and it doesn't even confirm their lead actors. The second thing, a pretty big one, is that the writer of the source novel didn't even know that the drama was in production. Her reaction to the booting ceremony was, OMG what happened? No one told me any news, not even a greeting. Is this real or fake news? Are there even filming permits? I still exist, you should inform me if you're gonna start filming. So I'm guessing this is just an online rumor? Imagine if you wrote a novel and one day you woke up to find that someone's making it into a drama without letting you know. Absolutely bizarre, I don't see how this drama could possibly go through. Well at least not without a handsome compensation to the writer. Xing Fu Hai Hui Lai Chiao Men is an upcoming modern drama starring Nie Yuan and Wu Jingyan, and they held their booting ceremony yesterday. They don't have an official English title yet, but the literal translation of its Chinese title is Happiness Will Knock On Your Door Again. This is a reunion of the two lead stars who were in the story of Yanxi Palace, and they probably had much to talk about when they reunited. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that our drama was the most Googled TV show on Earth in 2018? Wait, never mind, we don't have Google here. Anyways, Yanxi Palace was obviously a big hit in China and the rest of the world, so undoubtedly there is much fanfare and expectation surrounding this new drama. In Happiness Will Knock At Your Door Again, Nie Yun plays a doctor who hits rock bottom after he gets fired and finds out that his child really isn't his. Wu Jingyan plays a police woman who helps the child find his biological father and falls in love with Nie Yun's character at the same time. This will be the third collaboration between the two stars, the second being Legend of Haolan. The drama has a supporting cast of Mao Junjie, Qian Yongchen, and Li Chenyuan. So Ashes of Love is arguably one of the most popular fantasy romance dramas ever, certainly in the last few years. It's based on the novel Heavy Sweetness, Ash Like Frost, stars Yang Zi and Deng Lun, and premiered on August 2nd, 2018. According to Chinese streaming site Tencent, as of January 2019, the series has reached 15 billion views. It received positive reviews, scoring 7.7 .7 on Douban, and was praised for its story, exquisite costumes, and of course, lead actors' performances. As such a popular drama, fans wondered if there was going to be a sequel, and in October of last year, producer Liu Ning announced that it was going to happen. At the time, I did a video about his announcement, so in this segment, I'll talk about the comments he had about Ashes of Love Season 1 and 2. When asked about the casting of the main leads in Ashes of Love Season 1, Liu Ning said, At the time, I was looking for a good actress born after 1990. 
Yang Zi is a seasoned actor. I first decided she would be the female lead. She recommended Deng Lun, and I felt that having male and female leads who were good friends and who knew each other well was a good thing. Despite being loved by so many, the drama wasn't without its criticisms, one of which was that the story was diluted, to which Liu Ning said, I wouldn't call it diluted. It's just a drama's normal slow pace when it gets to the middle episodes. And I kind of agree with him. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but in almost every drama that I watch, there always comes a point or a few points where the drama just seems to drag out. Like the story doesn't move forward and the characters spent quite a bit of time talking about the past or about unimportant stuff. It's almost like they're trying to hit 50 or 60 episodes or whatever number of episodes they set out to hit. Because ultimately for them, more episodes means more advertising, which means more money for them. But at this point, I've gotten quite used to these draggy moments, and I just put the handy skip button to use. Ashes of Love Season 1 ended with Jing Mi and Xu Feng living happily in the mortal realm with their son, hundreds of years after the war between the heaven and demon realms. Now this is what Liu Ning said about Ashes of Love Season 2. Actually, there is no way to use the original cast. Of course, fans are hoping for the original cast, so when we begin preparations, we will collect opinions online. This was in October of last year, about 10 months ago. Now I checked his and the Ashes of Love Weibo pages and there's no sign of any preparation or any work being done for the sequel. The only thing I've found is a post commemorating the anniversary of the premiere of Ashes of Love on August 2nd and a mention of how it's won numerous awards at home and abroad. Kinda seems to me like the production team is still riding the wave of success of the first season and haven't shown much in terms of getting the second season underway. One assumption is that Season 2 will be about Season 1's characters' children, and that is why Yang Zi and Deng Lun are not returning. Well, viewers' reactions to that have ranged from why can't they come back as parents, to why can't they just have some small cameos, to downright that's it, I'm not watching if they're not returning. The other thing too is the phrase Liu Ning used, we will collect opinions online. Well, what does that mean? Well, the glass half full fans might think that if enough people ask for Yang Zi and Deng Lun to return, then production's gonna do anything it takes to make it happen. The glass half empty fans might think, if people are only gonna watch this if Yang Zi and Deng Lun return, then what's the point of making it anyways? I guess the only thing we can really do is wait and see how it all plays out. So that's it for today guys, but while I have your attention, I'd like to ask you to visit my crowdfunding page Patreon, where for a dollar or more a month, I will give one of you a shout out and answer your question at the end of one of my YouTube episodes. You can find the link in the description box below. This show will not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, subscribing, and liking. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Cheers!